So, in problem number 2, we have there are 1.36 kilograms of gas for which R is 377 joules per kilogram per Kelvin and K is 1.25 that undergo a non-flow constant volume process from P1 equals 551.6 kilopascal and T1 equals 60 degrees Celsius to P2 equals 1655 kilopascal. Okay, so yung problem number 2 again is an example of isometric process or constant volume process. Now, may given na mass equivalent to 1.36 kilograms. And then, Merong R or gas, gas constant equivalent to 377 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And K is 1.25. K is the ratio of specific heat, Cp over Cv. So, walang unit yung K, 1.25. That undergo a non-flow constant volume process from 551.6 kilopascal, Cp1. And P2 is given 1,655 kilopascal. And then, given then si T1, which is 60 degrees Celsius. So, para tayo mamaya ay hindi na mag-convert sa solution, i-convert na natin dito sa given. Plusan na natin ng 273. So, kapag ang i-convert natin ay from Celsius, gagawin natin absolute, gagawin Kelvin, plus 273. So, si T1 in degrees Kelvin is 333 Kelvin. Then, during the process, the gas is internally steered and there are also added 105.5 kilojoules of heat. So, may binigay na value ng heat which is 105.5 kilojoules. So, may Q equal to 105.5 kilojoules. Positive ang ating Q. Bakit ko nasabing positive? Kasi sabi doon, added heat. So, pag sinabing added, absorbed, gained, Q is positive. Kapag naman sinabing rejected, lost, yun ay negative. Okay. So, ang tanong, letter A, determine letter A, T2. Then, letter B, the work input. So, work. And then, letter C, the change of entropy. Oops. Delta S, change of entropy. Okay, so let us start with letter A, T2. So again, ang pagkuha ng uh, pressure temperature kapag isometric process, ang gagamitin nating relation is yung P2 over P1 is equal to T2 over T1. Now, let us see kung meron bang mga given. So ang nawawala ay T2, walang T2. So, meron bang P1? Yes. Meron bang P2? Yes. Meron bang T1? Yes. Therefore, we can solve for T2. So, isolve natin dito sa baba. Ayan, nasud ko lang na konti. So, ang ating formula is P2 over P1 is equal to T2 over T1. Now, let us substitute. So, P2 is equal to 1,655 kilopascal. Again, kapag kayo ay magsasubstitute sa ideal gas law, dapat ay naka-absolute. P1 is 551.6 kilopascal. Kaya, ang gagamitin nating temperature dito ay naka-Kelvin. So, T2 is unknown. T1 ay 333 degrees Kelvin. Now, solving for T2, by cross-multiplication lang naman yan, imamanipulate lang natin yung equation, T2 is equal to 999.1207 Kelvin. So, ito na yung sagot natin for T2. Okay. Then, we have the next question. Ano yung sunod na tanong? Letter B, the work input. So, ito, yung work ang tinatanong. Again, ano nga kapag ka-isometric process? Ang sabi ko, Kapag isometric process, the work done is equal to zero. Pero, nabanggit dun sa problem na 
the gas is internally steered. Kapag sinabi natin internally steered, yung process is irreversible. Kapag nakita nyo yung word na uh, internally steered. Kapag may steering, so magkakaroon ng value yung work. And ang formula natin para makuha yung work doon is manggagaling sa formula ng Q at ng delta U, which is Q is equal to delta U plus work non-flow. So, tandaan nyo na yung non-flow work, equal siya sa zero kapag ang process ay reversible. While, kapag naman irreversible, yung non-flow work is not equal to zero. Okay. So, ano yung naging clue dito? Well, binanggit sa problem na the gas is internally steered. So, yung steering work nakakapag-produce siya ng uh, value doon sa work. Okay. So, para masolve natin yung non-flow work, kailangan natin ng Q at ng delta U. Pero, hindi pa natin nasosolve yung delta U. May given na Q dito, 105.5. Pero, wala pa tayong value ng change of internal energy. Now, how do we solve for the change of internal energy? So, ang change ng internal energy is given by MCV times T2 minus T1. Okay. So, kailangan natin ng mass which is may binigay naman na mass, 1.36, kailangan natin ng CV. Hindi natin alam ang CV. So, tatandaan nyo, ang ginamit doon sa number 2 problem ay hindi air. Walang binanggit doon na air. Sinabi lang na gas. May binigay na R, may binigay na K. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin masolve ang CV. Ano ba ang formula ng CV kapag given ang gas constant at saka yung K? So, CV is equal to R over K minus 1. Okay? So, now we can solve for CV. Substitute lang natin yung values. Yung nakuha na R dito or yung given na R is 377 joules per kilogram Kelvin. So, 377 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Kelvin. And then, yung K is 1.25 minus 1. Now, computing for CV, lumalabas na yung sagot is equal 1,508 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Now, na nakuha na natin yung CV, pwede natin makompute ang change of internal energy. So, change of internal energy, again, is MCV delta T or MCV times T2 minus T1. Ayan, tabingi na. Okay. Now, substitute natin. So, si mass is equal to 1.36 kilograms. CV is 1,508 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And, Tito minus T1, ang Tito, ano nga ang value ng Tito kanina? Tito is 999. 0.1207 At dahil hindi na siya sa space na to, dito ko na lang sa baba isusulat ha. 999.1207 minus 333 Kelvin. So, nakamultiply to ha. Makakancel yung Kelvin. Cancel yung kilograms. Ang unit ng delta U na makukuha natin ay naka joules. Okay? So, let us solve. 1.36 times 1.508 times 999.1207 minus 333 is equal to ito. 1,366,133. So, ang laki. Kasi nga, ang unit natin ay naka-joules. 133.621 joules. So, para hindi masyadong malaki yung value, convert natin sa kilojoules. Ano ba ang conversion? Ang 1 kilojoule ay merong 1,000 joules. So, i-divide lang natin by 1,000. Kaya naman, i-move natin ang tatlong decimal place. So, 1, 2, 3. Ang sagot would be 1,366.13. Bakit itong kinansel ko? Ito dapat. Kilo joules. So, ito na yung ating change of internal energy. And, ang tinatanong pala is yung work input. So, work input, from this formula, isolve natin yung work input. So, Q is equal to delta U plus the work. So, yung work dito, yun yung work input. So, work is Q 
minus delta U. Okay. So, yung Q is given 105.5 kilojoules. So, buti na lang kinonvert natin sa kilojoules kasi na kilojoules pala yung U. Then, yung U, internal energy is 1,366.133 Mali na naman ang unit ko. 1,336 Mali, ang sulat ko kanina. Kilojoules. Okay. So, yan. Now, ito ay may decimal point. Yan. Compute natin si work. The work input is equal to 105.5 minus the ano, delta U. So, negative 1,260.6336 kilo joules. Ito na yung ating work input. Okay? Then, The change of entropy. So, how do we solve for the change of entropy? Delta S is MCV ln of T2 over T1. So, yung mass kanina is 1.36 kilograms given. CV, nasolve natin, 1,508 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Then, ln of T2 over T1. T2 is 999.1207 Kelvin over T1, 333 Kelvin. Okay. Now, let us solve. Delta S is equal to ito, 2,253.3697. 2,253.3697 So, cancel natin ang units, cancel ang Kelvin, cancel ang kilogram. So, ang unit natin ay joules per Kelvin. Ito yung natira, joules per Kelvin. Ito na yung ating final answer. Kung gusto nyo i-convert into kilojoules per Kelvin, pwede naman natin yung i-move ulit ng 3 decimal places. Pero wala naman binanggit sa problem, kaya okay lang yan. Okay? So, next ulit natin would be sa next video na lang. So, that's all for now. Goodbye. Thanks.